Cockpit opening and closing. Whenever that thing opens, it should make kind of a goofy, like, <laughs> like it's all really cool. And whenever he shows up, there's kind of that sound effect. Voice piston that lets you, over the top. Yeah, that lets you know, and it's mm. it's kind of funny. It's a little, but he's a little he's a little chagrined by it because yeah. it's obviously like it's like. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> greetings. <laughs> greetings. Oh. When are we going to fix this? God. <laughs> It's the rare Covarubius in his natural habitat. <laughs> oh, hi. We are in charge of creating all of these sound design elements for the creature. The little guy is Ambassador's Log from the planetoid system whatever. They are on a diplomatic mission. And he's his, you know, kind of bodyguard, yeah. right-hand man, but he's really there for the swag and the cool t-shirts. <laughs> The implementation of it being inside something that is an interactive experience for people, it's way different from a movie. The sounds have to work on their own without really any input from us after they're done. Great. It's got great low end. It's, it's not going to be distracting, which is nice, but it's there. It's really cool. Cool. Next is breathing. Get more bass out of that. Dehumanizer is a real time voice effector. It does pitch shifting, granular synthesis, pretty much anything you could do to a voice to make some kind of creature sound or otherworldly vocal effect. Tom has always been very adamant about getting actors to come in and have their performance become part of the creature. Who said, who did that? Even if it's just, you know, efforts and things like that, and then manipulating them, and it just takes everything to a whole different level. Three and four, okay, three. Greetings, citizens of Amazon. Here's a mid-range sort of speech. However, the feedbacks making me want to talk slower, I also feel like I'm having a stroke. And it seems like every time you're working with these voices, if you have two going back and forth, you're creating new bits and new things, and that's really what's going to carry it, is going to be the performance. You just want, you don't want the effects to get into the way. Here's the deal. I push them out of the way, you apologize. We'll get into that convention center quickly that way. I think that we should take a more formal path if we're going to we'll be talking to the High Lord Septon. Pardon me. From the Outer Galaxy. Excuse me, don't, don't worry about him, he's fine. I can't wait to see like how kids react to it. Oh my god. Adults are gonna love it just for the spectacle. Yeah. But it's it's different seeing a kid actually believe what they're seeing is real. Kids, it's like instantly they are asking questions, they're you know, they're involved with with this thing that you've created out of pure imagination. Yeah. A valuable substance on my planet is five grams of nitrogen. Okay, was that it? <laughs> that was the one? Yeah. Okay, so we have our two selects for deep and high that is very lightly altered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Check out the Wired channel, thescene.com, for the entire Giant Creature series.